20th of June, 1966, the United States Coast Guard Cutter Point League was patrolling the support of Operation Market Time, where the cutter was attempting to interdict Viet Cong infiltration attempts near the mouth of the Cho Chin River. When the cutter attempted to stop a heavily armored Viet Cong boat, they would soon be facing a beachfront full of heavily armed Viet Cong forces. Welcome back to another video. This one is the first of its kind by me. It's a story of a single battle that was far too common in Vietnam. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. With that said, let's get back into it. The Point League was an 82-foot point-class cutter, manned by eight men with a top speed of 16.8 knots. It had a range between 577 to 1,271 nautical miles. Its armament was one 20mm Orokin cannon, five 50 caliber M2 Browning machine guns, and one 81mm M29 mortar. It was originally designated as a WPB TAC 82304. As prior to January 1964, the Coast Guard did not name cutters under 100 feet. Upon being commissioned on 9th November 1960, it was officially designated as the Point Lee. It would then be assigned to Division 13 of Squadron 1 based out of Cat Low Naval Base. It would partake in Operation Market Time, which was the effort to stop the flow of troops and supplies by the water from North Vietnam into parts of South Vietnam during the Vietnam War. On the 20th of June, 1966, the cutter was conducting a nighttime patrol. Where it was there, it would come across a target on radar heading directly west towards the shore. The cutter quickly moved to intercept. After the target was spotted visually and then identified as a still hold coastal cargo vessel of about 100 feet in length, it was also running without lights and towing a junk. She was then challenged and refused to respond. It was then that the vessel was illuminated with the cutter searchlights and it was clear it was heavily loaded and determined to deliver its ammunition and arms to the Viet Cong forces. Shortly after being illuminated, the vessel cut its tow line with the junk and bolted for the shoreline. The cutter then let loose a short burst of 50 caliber machine gun fire, and thus ensued a fierce short-range gun battle between the two vessels. Overwhelmed by the Coastie's fierce firepower, the enemy vessel was forced to ground on the beach. The enemy crew abandoned the stricken vessel and made their way onto the beach, where they then met with reinforcements of the Viet Cong. The battle was no longer ship to ship, it quickly became ship to shore, as the Viet Cong ground forces were packing heavy firepower machine guns. With this up their sleeve, the Viet Cong quickly sought to engage the Cutter Point League in an effort to destroy it and recoup the cargo off the stricken vessel. Originally by itself, the Point League engaged these forces with fierce machine gun and mortar fire. The cutter received heavy incoming fire, with rounds penetrating the aluminum bulkheads and even the pilot house, wounding several crew members. Despite this, the crew remained calm and determined to survive this engagement. Additional cutters Point Slocum and Point Hudson would join in, and bring additional firepower against the onslaught the Viet Cong sent out. Eventually, even air support would also join in and turn the tide of the battle in favor of the Coasties. And in true Coast Guard fashion, fire would break out on the beach to enemy vessel where Lt. Junior Grade Stephen T. Ulmer, commanding officer of the Point League, would organize a damage control party to battle this fire. Eventually, enough for the cutter to pull alongside and provide even more fire suppression. This was just one of the many harrowing encounters many patrolling the coastal and inland waterways would face during the Vietnam War. The USCGC Point League would receive a Navy Unit Accommodation Award, and the Vietnam Service Medal, the One Star and Three Bronze Stars with Lt. Junior Grade Ulmer receiving the Silver Star for his actions on 20th June, 1966. Its eventual fate would be being decommissioned and transferred to the Republic of Vietnam Navy on 16th May, 1969, as well as the commanding officer, Lt. Junior Grade Stephen Ulmer, being the principal of leadership under fire as he held his cool and organized the offensive and rescue of the stricken vessel. That's going to wrap up another video. As always, feel free to leave any feedback down below it helps increase the quality of these videos for all of us. And with that said, please let me know if you like this style of video and if you want more, as this is just one tiny tell of a large war. So, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And with that said, I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one.